las montañas y del río Campesino y amigo de la vida muy sencilla Dame, dame, vida, vida, simple, simple y sencilla Dame, dame, vida, vida, rica, rica y sencilla montañas y del río, campesino y amigo de la vida muy sencilla. Dame, 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 vida, 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 simple, simple y sencilla. Dame, dame, dame. Even down the mechanic. I didn't know you had it in you. How's it going down there? Uh. I think I almost got it. I'm dreaming of eggs and bacon. Toast or biscuits? Toast, with lots of butter. Any jelly? No, I'm not a jelly person. I'm partial to biscuits and gravy myself. And the only good thing in this damn country is the coffee. Well, as soon as we get this thing cranked up, we'll go looking for some scrambled eggs to go with your coffee. How about that? <laughs> bacon, don't forget the bacon. Think there's an IHOP around here? <laughs> hey, jump in, see if you can crank it up. Really? Yeah, go ahead, jump in. Breakfast may be here sooner than you think. Wait, sir. It's gonna be all right. All right. ¿Qué dijo? No me dijo nada. Nada. I told her it was gonna be okay. Te pregunté a ti, cabrón. Eh? Eh? bonita eres, ¿eh? ¿Qué te dijo? ¿Eh, mi reina? ¿Qué te dijo? ¿Eh? He said everything was gonna be okay. ¿Sabes algo que yo no sé? ¿Eh? ¿Es tu novio? ¡Es tu novio! No. ¿Qué sabes de él? Cuéntame de ti, cabrón. We're farmers. <laughs> what do we look like to you? We're farmers. You don't look like a farmer to me. Look, you all know who we are or you wouldn't be here. We want to see the revolution. You want to see it? Ah, cabrón. You're in it. ¿Para quién trabajas? ¿Eh? ¿Los cubanos? ¿Los alemanes del este? CIA? No, 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 amigo. ¿Eh? Vamos a la escuela. Vamos a la escuela. Van a la escuela. <laughs> Vas a la escuela, qué vivo eres. Qué vivo eres. Este tipo va a la escuela. ¿Tú vas a la escuela? ¿Eh? Cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste of death but once. You know who wrote that? Huh? You know who that is? William Shakespeare. Guillermito Shakespeare. Julius Caesar. Pendejo. I know. I know, I know. You, like I told you, we're college students. College kids, huh? Yeah. Oh, God! 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 Oh, God
¡Maten a todos, menos a él! ¿Qué hacemos con él? ¡Mételo adentro del autobús! ¡Ya, cabrón, muévete! ¡Muévete, muévete, muévete! ¡Muévete! You look like Henry Rollins, post black flag. You got a court date? A uh, job interview. I didn't know they had interviews for paranoid psycho killer types. Yeah, well, they do. I've got something I need to tell you. What'd you say? I've got some info for you. Who do you work for? We work for ourselves. You're freelancers? Yeah, you could say that. Who sent you? No one sent us, man. What is your fucking problem? We do want your bike, though. 
I don't want any trouble. I really don't. This bike's very important to me. Why don't you tell us about it? That's private. Trust me, I've been through a lot. Listen. We want the bike. We're taking the bike. Three against one, so get the fuck out of here! That's what I thought. How the hell do you start this thing? He didn't let me take off my glasses. What'd he say? Good night. Safety's on. Are you good? I told you that bike means a lot to me. Are you an artist? I hate fucking artists. Last one. Hurt yourself? I was working in my garden. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've uh, glanced over your file here, and your uh, stated skills are more than adequate. You've cleared our initial checks, but any bad news going to surface on a deep background check? Our client is a data processing firm, and we're going to be very thorough. I'm counting on it. it says here you don't do polygraphs. Nope. What's that all about? I have my reasons. Yeah, got gotcha. you. You spent a little time in Central America, I bet. Does it say that? No, but we do update our files from time to time. Yes or no? Uh, what does it say? Well, it says uh, military intelligence, spent some unspecified time at SOC in Tampa, Florida, and your own application site Spanish. These are all points in your favor. OK. Do you uh, maintain your own gear? Yes, sir. I have a vest, a wand-type metal detector, light vision goggles, but I can get anything if I know in advance. Very good. Now, do you use any narcotics? No, sir. Do you habitually use any prescription medication? No, sir. Do you smoke? Not anymore. Any outstanding warrants or in-progress investigations, civil or criminal? Domestic or foreign? No, sir. Are you currently under contact, written, spoken, or understood to any individual organization or government agency? No, nobody. 
Is there any reason you can think of that you would not be the perfect person for this job? Only that I'm not perfect. Hmm. Yeah, we know that. Thanks for coming in. We'll be in touch. And next up, Angelina. The lords of death are a natural form of emptiness. Your own confused projections. And you are emptiness. A mental body of unconscious tendencies. Emptiness cannot harm emptiness. The uncharacterized cannot harm the uncharacterized. External lords of death, gods, evil spirits, and the bullheaded demon, and so on, have no reality apart from your confused projections. So recognize this. At this moment, recognize everything as the Bardo. Fucking artists. Wow, I'm impressed. What? A haircut. And you shave? Uh, yeah, it's a job interview. Corporate thing. Really? Mm. Well, I didn't think that they gave job interviews to guys like you. Yeah. I mean, they do. Hmm. Thanks for coming to my show. I wouldn't miss it. I know. How's your job? Ugh, the ER's crazy. I mean, there must be some kind of war out there more than usual. And these weapons, stray bullets hitting people in their houses half a block away. Kids, babies, old people, church ladies, you name it. You wouldn't believe where these bullets go. Oh, <laughs> you would. They tell me some of them sleep in their bathtubs at night. I sometimes wonder if government agencies don't think about recruiting these cracked out kids with weapons to kill people, you know? Solve a problem, tie up a loose end. Be like ordering up a car wreck. I don't know, Steven, but that's exactly why you and I aren't together anymore. Is that all you can think about? I'm just saying there'd be no paper trail, no names. Just point somebody out on the street, make it look like a robbery. I wonder if that ever happens. I guess that is all you can think about. Hi, Daddy. Hey, sweetie. Where'd you come from? I didn't even see you. Are you sleeping? Yeah, Miss Odom put me to bed earlier. Who's Miss Odom? New babysitter. I'm not a baby. No, you're not a baby. You're a big girl. You get prettier every day. Being good for your mom? You swear? You double swear? 
Okay. <clears throat> go to bed. I know she didn't like you to be up late. Do you have to go, Daddy? Mm -hmm. I'll see you later in the week. Okay, I'll see you later then. I love you, baby. Good night, Daddy. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay, Dan, here's the deal. We are not supposed to know that two members of the prospective buyer's police force will meet us when we dock. They're gonna be dressed in civilian clothes, they'll come aboard, and they're gonna to wanna to search the boat. It'd be a good idea if we act real surprised. What are they worried about? Oh, well, they're not worried, they're just real careful. What are they being careful about? Confidentiality, that's our middle name. You see, there's not gonna be any audio, no video transmission devices on this boat. So officially, it's a non-happening. What about my gun? Well, I didn't load it. I didn't know if I was supposed to, but I've got two loaded clips in my pocket. Okay, carry it. They're gonna expect that. You will decline to give it up. They'll expect that too. I just don't want you to shoot anybody. If something goes wrong, which it won't, I want you to jump in the water and swim away from this boat as fast as you can go. But nothing like that's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is Heckle and Jekyll are gonna come on board. They're gonna search the boat and they're not gonna find anything. They'll leave, I'll leave, and then the players will begin to arrive. A Mr. Deacon of the Maya Corporation will come aboard. Oscar Perez, a security person from Latin America, He's the broker of this hope for transaction. He's gonna come on board. Both these men are technically your boss. And if Perez's girlfriend, Rachel, if she happens to come on board. She's my boss too. Right. I got it. Perez usually has his own guy. His name is Reef. And Reef is not much of a talker, but he will be armed. Now this is not your affair. The two representatives of the buyer who will remain nameless will also be armed. This is not your affair either. These people will all come aboard. They'll sort things out for themselves. Now, somebody at the Maya Corporation trusts Perez, and evidently the buyer does too. So all we've got to do is let Perez handle this whole thing. All you've got to do is drive the boat up the lake, down the lake, fast, slow, do figure eights, anything they want you to do, you do it. I got it. Showtime. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. This is uh, positively romantic. A moonlit cruise. Turner's idea. Well, the man definitely has flair. So, uh, Captain, what's the itinerary? We'll play it however you and the buyers decide. This is a secure environment. We're comfortable with it. That's fine with me. Not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. You okay with that, Skipper? Is that Shakespeare you were just quoting? Uh, very good. Very good. I love Shakespeare, you? Oh, I studied him in college. Oscar Perez. I think the buyers have arrived. Perfect. It's gonna work out fine. Stay as you go, Skipper. I'll send Rachel in with your course momentarily. Buenas noches, caballeros. Hola, señores. Mucho gusto de conocerlos. Así que ya saben que esta junta es algo muy importante para nosotros y estamos aquí para ayudarlos como podamos. Vamos a tratar de guiarlos para tener un acuerdo con ustedes sobre las, los asuntos nuestros. Excuse me. Este, ya saben que, que estas viejas son tan hermosas. Captain. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> We'd like to make a slow 20-minute circuit. 
keeping to the center of the canal, and then returning to this point. Okay. And in 20 minutes, you'll get more instructions. You know, it's all right to look at me. It's them you're not supposed to look at. No, I know. I just want to make sure I know where we're going. Hey, relax. I'm contract labor just like you, soldier. You play the captain of the boat, and I play the broker's girlfriend. You know, my boss thinks you are his girlfriend. Well, then I just told you a secret, didn't I? Hey, are you all right? You don't look so good. I just don't sleep very well. How long? Six years, give or take. That's a long time. So this is part of our routine, Perez and I. I come up here and pretend to flirt with you. He points us out to the others, and they all grouse and talk nasty about whores for a minute. Then when I come back, they all share a laugh and some knowing glances. Makes them a team. Also puts me in a role that they feel comfortable with. You've been doing this a while? Similar things, yeah. What are you? Are you a bodyguard? Something like that. Is that how you hurt your wrist? I don't know. I hurt this playing basketball. Right. Anyway, it keeps the attention from being squarely focused on him. He likes it that way. Who is he? Oscar? Yeah. He calls himself a security consultant. He often does this kind of work, creating a liaison between a U.S. firm and an interested group from Latin America. So who are these guys? No more secrets tonight. I have to get back. Hey, lighten up. We're going for a cruise. No, 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 no. Así que ya saben que esta junta es algo muy importante para nosotros. Hey, soldier, we're supposed to be back at the dock by now. Shh, keep your voice down. I need you to tell me who he is. Who? Oscar, Oscar Perez. I told you, he's a security consultant. I, I need to know everything you know about him, everything. Why? I need to know. You need to turn the boat around and I need to go back down there. All right, listen. I saw an abandoned boathouse on the canal. Have you seen it? You know what I'm talking about? I think so. Meet me there at dawn and come alone. You bring somebody else with you, I'll kill you both. Oh, please don't sugarcoat it. Why should I meet you? Because you're curious. I'm not that curious.
How'd it go? All right, I guess. It's hard to tell. Well, you didn't shoot anybody. I counted heads before, and I counted heads after, and I came up with the same number. I didn't shoot anybody. Outstanding. I thought about it, though. Everybody does. You have any direct contact with the players? No, not really. Perez? Anybody? No, I talked to Rachel a little bit. Why? Uh, just curious. Uh, turns out we're going to do this again tomorrow night. What? That way it gives everyone a chance to talk to their higher-ups. And Perez has requested you specifically. You are available. Yeah. I wouldn't have set you up on this thing if you had to told me you were free this No, way. okay, I'll do it, sure. Okay, count on tomorrow night. Long time no video, dog. Dylan, you need to get out more. Yeah, hey, you know what they say. If I'd known you were coming, I'd have baked the cake. I called ahead. I ain't get the message. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Uh, you uh wanna hit? No, no, no. I'm trying to quit. Sorry, right. both of me. <laughs> what can I do you for, man? I need you to reopen the Black September file. Got a name, need you to check it out. Black September again? Look, man, you still doing your detective thing? This time it's for real. Same as other time. And then time for that, and time for that, and time for that, and time for that. Come on. What's the name? Oscar Perez. Don't ask, man. I now have got a thing about germs. How you spell that? I don't know. How would you?